So not only do we rotate on our own axis while we live on the Earth, uh, which is every 24 hours, and not only do we on top of that orbit the Sun, and it takes us 365 of our rotations here in order to go all the way around, but it turns out we're also part of an even larger scale. So if we zoomed out, um, maybe I'll say this here, so but, whoops, maybe I'll write in blue instead, uh, just to keep it straightforward here, so but, um, we can say here that we also orbit around our galaxy. So I'll just write this down. So we orbit around our galaxy. Now, um, we orbit along with uh, you know, billions of other stars. So not only is our own sun one star, but uh, we could say that we orbit with billions of other stars. So there's lots and lots of these. Now, um, well, plus there's also lots of gas. It turns out there's lots of hydrogen gas as well, but let's just talk about the stars here. So in this case right here then, if we wanted to look at that, let's see here, I can go like this, and I think I can uh, paste a picture here. So this is what we think our galaxy looks like. Now keep in mind, this one right here though is not a real picture. Now the reason why this can't be a real picture is because in order to take this picture, we'd have to be zoomed way out. We'd have to get in a spaceship and fly really, really far away in order to take this picture. So this is a schematic drawing of what our galaxy uh, looks like. Now we do know quite well though a lot of the different stars around us and we do know quite well through some very clever ways uh, which we're going to be talking about um, in the later videos but how we can tell the distances to things. From there we can tell that we live in a galaxy that does very close to something like this. Now we know roughly where we live and of course we put the center of our uh, galaxy of course we consider well the center at least of this coordinate system is us. Why not? I mean we may as well you know label it uh, with us. So, of course, then we take this one right here, so maybe we'll say that uh, you are here. That's where you live. And, of course, we go around. We actually rotate all the way around like this. So, here. so we go sort of around and around in a big giant circle, like this. It takes a very, very long time to orbit, and we're going to talk about this uh, later on, but basically we're part of a very, very large system, and we call this our galaxy. Now this galaxy, we call it the Milky Way, and we're going to talk about why that is. But I think it's really neat just to think about the fact that, you know, we really should be throwing up here because, think about it, we are rotating on our own axis, and we're orbiting around the sun. You know, and on top of that, our sun, with us orbiting around it, is going around this giant thing called a galaxy. Uh, so I think that's pretty interesting, and in fact, we even further further than that, if we zoomed out even more, um, then we're actually part of a local group of galaxies. So actually we call it the local group because, well, what else are we going to call it? So it turns out there's some other galaxies around us that are sort of close-ish to us and we'll be talking about how close things are when we talk about kiloparsecs and light years. We're going to be talking about a lot of these words. But the main thing I wanted to try to get into your mind right now is this fact that you know maybe we should all be throwing up right now just because we're spinning and rotating and orbiting. But all this has to do with back to here. Whenever you look up at the sky, I'm hoping that now when you see uh, you know the stars over time, you know when you see them sort of rise one way and set the other way, I'm hoping that that's going to help to make sense to you of why that is. And that's because the stars are staying still, and it's actually us that's rotating. You know that's orb uh, that's rotating on our own axis. Now, of course, when I look up at the stars, I like to think of a lot of other things. So we're going to talk about these basics, but just to give you a quick sort of primer of what we're going to talk about, um, we're going to be covering things like, um, well, what stars are and how we find the distances to them and what about their lifetimes and how they live and uh, how they uh, act. We're going to talk about galaxies and we're going to talk about even bigger things like the Big Bang Theory, not just the TV show, but I mean the actual uh, theory. We're going to talk about cosmology and a little bit about life on other planets and things like dark matter and dark energy. So I hope that uh, you're going to follow along and I think you're going to enjoy it, hopefully as much as I did making these.